Hey everybody, welcome back. I don't know, it's still Thursday. I don't know how... Um, how many more videos we're going to record of the weekly this week? Maybe three? That sounds about right to me. I hate this squad. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, okay, I'll take a duck. Just the idea behind taking a duck is just that one day I can at least uh, sell the duck for some value. I mean, that kind of got our clownfish kickstarted last time. Am I crazy to think that this is drawable? It is drawable. So we're going to be at full HP no matter what. Okay. In that case, I'm content to take another duck. She said, let's hit the parking lot so I can buy your duck. And then I actually think the smart move here is let's combine magpies and we'll set up another possible level on the beaver. Just in case a jellyfish will show up. Just in case. No guarantees. No alarms and no surprises, but I'm not even sweating the loss. I'm just happy to have 5 HP, honestly. We know what we like here. I, I think you just go straight into the double cell. Like, the, the ducklings, the best time to offload them is immediately. Give me... I can't deny the radio has done some great work for us. And then on top of that, this basically gives us a 2-2, and then let's just go full squatted. Not the unit you want to buff. But, alas, here we are. The lemur, I really think, is like the... I think it's the secret sauce this week. I think we're going up against a very strong enemy team, though. Not strong enough. Okay, I actually had, like, way more in the tank than I thought I did. I was so excited for a level before I realized it didn't matter at all. No jellyfish. My face went no jellyfish? I... I guess! Am I crazy to feel like bacon's the right move for now? Yeah, I think I am. Just move this out here. Okay, this is the jellyfish. Like, this is organic jellyfish spawn. This is not artificial jellyfish spawn. Oh, nice jellyfish. Lord, I've seen what you've done for others, and I want it for myself. Milf Hunter 69X yet again. Still had a decent amount in the tank there. I don't really want to go double salad. I'll go single salad. Roll once. Take a level. I'll just be straight up with you. This unit is basically useless. This unit can be sold. And I just think, like, because we don't have a lemur on the go right now, be, like, because there's no equipment on the go right now, I think the deer is the right unit. I know it's a crazy idea, considering we just won with an eel. You're probably saying, why on earth would you swap off from the eel? It just, it's a situational situation. What can I tell you? And it, it's just, you know, you got to take what you need when you need it. Now we have another lemur. I would, I would absolutely be content to take a radio here. Don't like these. Garlic could have gone kind of hard. You know, for one round, I'll take a badger rather than just rolling endlessly. The badger is just like raises the odds of a draw. Maybe it even lowers the chances of a win, but it raises the chances of a draw. Very similar looking squads here, uh, but some squads more similar than others. Some squads more similar than others. I don't really want a leveled badger. I'm going to take this, even though we're probably getting close to it being past its best before date. Lynx is at least playable. It maybe is a little insulting. I would run two deers and then roll once. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Please just tell me we're not going up against one deer, which would be, <laughs> it would hard clear me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe we keep finding the path. And then the level. Radio. Friendly toy breaks give adjacent friends a buff. 
Toss that in right there. One of these, one roll, and a level. Okay. This squad is looking like it might pivot to T-Rexes at some point because we have no uh, plan. <laughs> and with no plan, you could do a lot worse than T-Rexes. You peace, you peace, I had ya. I had ya, I had ya. Okay, well played, a hippo, I never thought of that. Mm, why didn't I just roll into a hippo? I'm not salty, you're salty. Level me? That's a T-Rex. So, basically like everything has to get sold for a T-Rex to start working. But I think this is a really, really early T-Rex. You should stick... Well, like what's the worst unit here? The worst unit here is the lemur. Because it doesn't do anything except summon the foods. So we'll, we'll take a T-Rex. It's going to buff just the Mosasaurus for now. And then the Mosasaurus is going to buff it. It honestly should have a lemon. Just because it's going to get some stats. And then... Though it pains me to do so. Let's unroll this and get a crane out here so it gets buffed. Like if we're going to be doing the, the buffing build. We kind of have to commit. We don't have a fainting squad. Do I really want... Plus three health. I'm going to get... I, I'm selling the deer, and I'm buying a scorpion, and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to create a situation where the scorpion can get as much HP as possible. So here's a here's a new one for you. This pivot should suck for this round, and maybe a lot of rounds after this. But <laughs> but I also think that. You can't look at it just in the context of like, oh, this made your team worse. It might make our team less likely to win like the next three rounds, but it might be one of the only ways for us to stand a reasonable chance of getting to 10. I'm going to level you just to get a tier six. It's a, it's a heavy spend, but I, I'll take it. And I love a lionfish. We need to change the order of the squad. Mosasaurus doesn't have a reason to be here. So why are you freezing it? Well, one day it might. I mean, it's still getting buffed. No, 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 dude. Second scorpion. <laughs> Second buff scorpion. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is the way. Now, the crane is unlikely to give us an advantage right now. But it was also the only tier 5 that showed up when I needed it to show up. So I have a lot of respect for it. You are very smart. Congratulations. Rat hippo. There's just no need for the level, on the other hand. Helps us get another... Well, you could spawn another lionfish. It's an interesting idea. I said it was interesting. You know what? Actually, you should get sold. And we should put you out. But then you should come up here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I think we put ourselves in a rough spot. But we put ourselves in a funny spot. It worked somehow from the dead. Rise from your grave. Dude, okay. So I bet you thought we weren't going to get one more win. We're getting one more win. That might be the last one. Lionfish goes crazy as it levels. Man, I really wanted a match there, but... I can't believe I'm just buying... Uh, I mean, I'm buying the scorpion for the meme, essentially. The scorpion isn't even a scorpion. It's a food. It's a 1-1 one -one buff that only affects scorpions. In fact, it only affects one scorpion, now that I think about it. But We're going to win another round. That may not last forever, but it's lasting for now. I thought about the pie, but I, I feel like we can do better. That's crazy. I also... I mean, like, I don't know if we're going to have the gold base for this next turn. I'll tell you that we won't have the gold base for this next turn. But at any point, we could s combine the T-Rexes or sell the crane, and then get a level 2 taper that, when it dies, is guaranteed to become a level 2 lionfish. 
They're going full skewer mode here, man. My god. We win these? That means we have time to set up the team we want to set up. So I definitely want a level 3 lionfish. Although... Let's not mess with it. Go level 3 lionfish first. I have five tapers in the shop. Let's start buying these. In that case, the squad has to look like this. Yeah, pretty much this order. Unless you want to move the scorpion back to position three. So uh, we, we gave up on a little scaling to get a second lionfish out there. It does suck to have the lionfish at the back, but... I was just going to say, look on the bright side, it might just get sniped anyway. And now we're going to super lethal. It's not even super lethal. We're on eight wins. You're not likely to ever get a trigger again. As crazy as this is, level one lionfish at the back, so the taper is very likely to hit it as a trigger, then move this lionfish up to the front so that we get its effect as soon as possible. It's a little crazy, but that's what happens on a Thursday. Sometimes you got to get a little crazy. They've sniped me. Their sniping dominated me. <laughs> Destroyed me. It wasn't even close. All right. Well, fair enough. You outthought me. Congratulations. At least it wasn't just a level 3 hippo with a level 3 rat in front of it. Like, that's, that's a nice change. Buy me? Sell me? Roll me? Duck me? Nah. For now, you can afford to, to throw round one. Be an aggressive fireman. How about a sarcastic fireman? When he shows up, where's the fire? Hey, who would have thought magpies? The, the secret to beating a cricket squad. I'll take that. There's a complete lucky victory. There's no uh, absolutely zero skill went into that. And I couldn't be happier. This would be an amazing time for a jellyfish to show up. A jellyfish, two early levels. The greatest magpie the world has ever seen. Wait a minute, we're winning this? Two wins with, with the three magpie squad? No jellyfish? I don't know why I thought that was going to give me a jellyfish. We're not going to take our second level yet. We actually have a... Oh, you can't take both of them. I was so excited to take both of them. Oh. <laughs> swan me. That's We don't get much of a chance to take a swan in today's workaday world. And I'm... If you're sick of seeing it, then spend less time on the internet because it just came to the game like 10 days ago. That is a strong lad. My lad is not that strong. You got me on this one. We lost the first round that actually counts. Take your level. Uh... I'm going to say sell you because I thought the only reason I had you here was for a sheep to come to pass. So sell me, buy me, radio me, tropical fish me. You're the most likely unit to stick, believe it or not. No, no, probably the magpie actually. And then throw a second swan on top. So maybe rearrange like thusly. All I've ever asked for is a... Uh, is a jellyfish. Now, I got so many that I ignored that maybe they're saying, they being karma, I suppose, in this context, they're saying you don't deserve one anymore. Be that as it may. <laughs> a jellyfish! Jellyfish are tier twos? Why did I think they spawned at tier three? Um, sell me. I do, I still think it's late, but I'm going to be a, a man of my word here. I'm going to fit you in the squad. Starting to think I shouldn't be turning on my nose at cherries here, but it is what it is. I think you just have to simmer on this one a little bit. I know that we lost two in a row, and that sucks, because the mid-game has been kind of like my my strong suit so far. Thank God. I, I can't stand to lose to another hippo build like that. 
But now we're getting scaling. We're getting scaling. We're getting scaling. We're getting so much scaling, you're going to think we're at the end of Dauntist. I'm ignoring them, which is maybe not the right... Idea. Maybe you're not giving it... Oh, but you're kind of an important unit. You're about to level, too. I think we roll here. I think it, it pains me, but I think rolling's the right play. And for now, we're playing Go Fish. Got any jellyfish? Go Fish. Tropical fish, that is. There's always a danger when you let yourself become a little beholden on the, the equipment, because you feel like these are units you can't sell because you've invested in them. But the only way to get to 10 this week is to sell them, <laughs> I think. Forget the hippo. It's, it's just... Some people are okay living their life like that, and some people aren't. If you could just stabilize until you get a level 2 jellyfish, then chocolate comes out. You get a shop that's all the units you already own, plus a couple of chocolates. Well, then the world's your oyster. Get out of here with your myriad hippos, Dan Bayar! Makes me sick. Hippo's been in the game since November 2021. People are like, I could take anything. I could even take a hippo. Okay. Obviously, we, we take our scaling. We're going to follow that up by taking our scaling. Then, then, we, then, we, then we put a little B on you. Just as self-preservation. Next round is chocolate round. Level 2 jellyfish into um, a walrus. That's a strong squad, man. Level level two jellyfish with a level two clownfish. What a, what a delightful shop you've been given. Someone's been shopping at Joja Mart. Where's your hippo? At this stage, I'm sorry. I know we just leveled you. You're gone, and the Mosasaurus, if we live, provides us with beautiful scaling. You're good to keep around in case we live. And if we don't live, well then, who cares really what we're what we're buying here? It's not a Spinosaurus build. I do think, I know I just bought you, but I do think the Mantis Shrimp at least has a certain je ne sais quoi. Lemon could end up being an item of some import this week. Mosasaurus probably should be buffing a jellyfish instead of a magpie. That's a big old scorpion, man. I, I, I'm actually, like, we, we lost for one, but I want to say no lock. Congratulations. I've never seen anyone use a buffalo and get wins this week. Now, we were in extreme losers brackets, so <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe you haven't either. Be like a that's me. I'm an upset geek. Or it could be a backwards geek. A skeeg. It's an easiest draw of my life. Um Yeah, credit for the buffalo. I'm, as I've said, I'm just thrilled that it wasn't another hippo, man. After everything we've, we've been through. I just think that the beetle... If we get two more quick beetles, it's nice. Because a beetle, it becomes like a 3-6 beetle with meat or something like that. That's worth something. I wish that my team was their team and vice versa. Even though it was a draw, they're getting that juicy beetle level up. But but so be it. Let's see what our juicy level up is. Clownfish is is just a nice nice thing to have. I certainly think the level up is worth the four squad here. A second clownfish? I'll never complain about anything. Oh, I didn't mean to put you on top of that stupid UI. I'll never complain about anything ever again. <laughs> Three squatted by accident. Kind of, but it's. I still think the team is really good. It might not be the end of the world. It's a. It's a. It's a win. It's a win. Nintendo 64. You know what? You you did this to yourself. I'm going rat just in case we get more rats, and then we get a hippo. You did it. I'm never taking a buffalo. You know, know your worth. That's a big badger, man. I'll give you credit for that large badger. How'd you get a badger that big? Why am I talking like Dr. Seuss? 
moving on. Roll me. We really need levels. That's a level. Part of me, though, thinks that three clownfish is sick. But I think we need to stabilize just a little bit. Like, I, I could definitely see a world where we easily lose this next round, but then the level up from the clownfish and maybe, like, one more level coming soon after that. Oh, thank God, the rat was going to kill me. I mean, we're going to lose anyway, but nobody wants to go out to their own rat. Okay, now I feel like this is, this is where we start gaining some traction. Might as well. It's the same level as two adjacent. Let's see what you get. This could change. Four different animals? You couldn't give me one match? I feel like a, with a level two clownfish, you want an eel on the squad. It's easier to scale the eel. And what are you going to get? You're going to have garlic for free. 12, 13 garlic for free. Pretty good. Rest of the squad's still struggling to get over the hump, but the garlic is nice. They're running dog mode? Really? Well, let me know how that's working out for you. Guy gets one win, immediately becomes toxic. Um, I'm not going buffalo. I told you I'm not going buffalo. It's a beautiful level. The beaver has to go. Definitely feel like you could sell beaver and take a crane and hopefully find a way to buff it in the future. Now the rat, like, long term, I don't know if I see much of a future for the rat unless we get a hippo. Short term, 11-12 rat with garlic pong! Short term, big rat! Now we want to find a way to scale the eel. The crane should not be in this position, probably, but it, it doesn't matter, I guess. Something like that makes more sense for now. I'm sorry, you just didn't get there, man. And you haven't scaled at all. A lynx is just more reliable this week. Oh! All <laughs> oh, the tropical fish, too? Oh, I know this looks bad because we're overriding a piece of equipment. And it isn't great, but we could get the trigger from the fortune cookie and then also... Okay, or that could happen. And probably will happen, like, a lot more, but... Huge. Huge. I'll take my dub nonetheless. I think we're definitely angling towards, like, a sniper build here. But that means we need to get our matches. Crocodile is a match. I can't sell these things, though. <laughs> I can sell you. You haven't... We're, we're not building into that anymore. That sort of thing isn't my bag, baby. I can't sell you yet, though. Give me some freaking chocolate, man! I got a level two clownfish and no jellyfish. I need a I need some chocolate stat. Get this man a shield. What a name too. Roll me. You're like kind of a sniper, but not a great one. Okay, yeah, I see ya. You gotta go. I know how bad this is. Like we're we're leveraging everything on getting levels this turn. Thank you so much. That's a, that's a very nice get. Are we really going full sniper build? No, we can't. I'm sorry. I can't run two level two clownfish either. The only way out of this is walrus, man. It probably shouldn't be like at the front. Because it could overwrite the garlic on the beetle. But I, maybe that would be fine. Because the beetle's garlic is not going to be doing too much here. It's so drawable. Um, their team was so much better than mine that that is a, a huge blessing. You now have to go. We need, we need to go all in on this like tier 6 team if it's ever going to stand a chance. We're not... I know I said tier 6 team, but we're not drinking any freaking Merlot. And we're not going... Well, you know what we will do? We will go four squatted. I'm not I'm not against going four squatted to get this nice this nice stat buff. And then we'll add a mantis shrimp in the future. My dream, I'm gonna try to cheat the system here. Maybe if I move the crocodile up, if they have a crocodile, their crocodile will whiff. My squad. 
We, what did I tell you? I said go all in. I didn't say go half in. This is the definition of all in here. We have no scaling for lionfish. I wish that we did, but we don't. Now you go here. If you get sniped, it's not the, not the end of the world. We have a decent sniping team. It's not the best sniping team, but it's a decent sniping team. Oh, that's unfortunate. You killed the unit with death touch. But then the rest of your squad is dookie dust. So it's just as bad as mine and we draw. <laughs> I shouldn't have made a squad that was dookie dust, but that's some information that would have been useful for me yesterday. Brother? I'm just, I was looking for a single walrus and they, they finally got us there. I can't be mad that they finally got us there, although there were seven rerolls. Maybe I can be a little mad. Don't shoot the walrus first, okay? He lived. He lived. He lived to apply some death touch. We can't lose. It's, we got to five. We've staved off complete badness. We got to commit to going like all in on a unit here. Let's go Lynx. Uh, you know what? That's essentially, I'm saying, thank you for giving us the last round. I know you didn't have to do that, Karma. Now I'll buy the things that are the right things to buy here. My snipes? My snipes? We win these. Okay. I told you, six. Now people are saying he's okay. He's not completely washed. How about a PETA on you? Equipment can make a big difference. It's a sad roll on four, but... Level three links if we live to the next turn. My dream is just an un petite snipe on the walrus, so it kind of goes sicko mode. That's not un petite snipe. That was un snipe major. But we draw, <laughs> and we were close to the win. And then give me a pita on you. You may live to, to attack. And then you may have a lot of... if de Depending on the order that things shake out, you could have a PETA trigger, and then if you live, you could get Death Touch. No promises. This seems not good. <laughs> okay, but you didn't expect me to get to six. You didn't expect me to get to six, so there we are. I'll take it. It's a fun weekly. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya!